Hi, Ben Atkinson here, author and director of HolyClubs.com, and this is the time when we're talking about family, family devotions. Specifically, we're going through the nine pre-foundations, and this is pre-foundation number one. The title is, The Father Desires a Family, and I'm so glad you're on this journey with me. This is a place where, this is a video for parents to kind of get an understanding of how to walk through firm foundations, how to have a beautiful worship time, uh, family Bible time, a discussion time, and what we are is now we're getting into these pre-foundations, nine pre-foundations that are very important to laying the fundamental uh, groundwork for your children in their walk with the Lord. And the first is understanding the Father. Jesus, when he taught us to pray, said, pray our Father. And it's important for us to have an identity of who the Father is. So let's jump right in. Um, so if you have the um, the book or the workbook um, where it talks about you should be on page um, right here, page 16, and pre-foundation number one where father the Father desires a family. And within that, I want to read this scripture, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 through 15. So let me read it for you. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. This is a beautiful uh, scripture here. It links us together with the saints that have gone before, and it brings us into the revelation of the Father, His love for us, but we're pulled into the story. The goal of this, it's two parts. First of all, you want them to touch the heart of the Father. They want them to know that He's a Father in heaven, but at the same time, you want to touch the heart of the Father. Now, this can be a really, really intense subject, but the second part is you want to see them, the second goal, that they would see themselves as a child of God, a child, a son or daughter of the Father in heaven. Now, so if we say the word Father, maybe you didn't have a good relationship. Maybe your child has never known their father. Um, it's important for you to explain the, the fact that the devil hates family, but God desires family. Family is under attack in the church and in, in the body of Christ and all over the world. Family is under attack because that is the central way we will relate to God forever. And so as a result, uh, the devil is looking to destroy the sanctity of marriage, looking to get fathers out of homes, looking to break and, and bring divorce in families, causing adultery, everything. But the Lord can redeem anything. And, and your child may have a, a, not, a, a hard understanding or a, a negative understanding of the word father, but it, they can re, be redeemed and they can grow in knowing that he's a father in heaven that loved them. So let's look at this. I want to look at the, the first section. You can, again, when we're reading this, how do we get through this? Number one, maybe you as a parent just read through this. And they may not, you know, kind of get it. The younger ones may just kind of sit there. Or you can, what you can do as you're reading through this is maybe the siblings each take a paragraph or something like that. Or the parents switch back and forth. And so the point is to bring everyone into the reading time and into the discussion time. Time. I want to read the first paragraph on page 17. It says the, um, um, the second paragraph, the father has an immensely strong desire for you to be in his family. He gave up his only son to adopt you. Um, and, and it's important to look at that and understand that God loves family. God desires family, both on earth and in heaven. So one of the main points is that you've got to, I'm just going to go through some points quickly here. Number one is that the father desires a family. As you're going through into discussions, just you may take one of these points, you may take other ones, but these are some ones you may want to look at. Is the first of all is the father desires a family. And he that's his desire. He made family. He desires family. God is the creator of family. Family didn't exist before he was there. And again, he was the author and finisher and perfecter of our faith. So again, it may have a negative family situation now. However, God can redeem all that. Uh, second, that we want to understand is that we were the dream in the heart of the Father forever. And... Um, and as you go through that, before I formed you in the room, I knew you. We're going to understand, and this is something we're going to pack out in these 
in these these two uh, sections. We want them to know they've got to understand that the Lord is holy, and bef- in the secret places before the foundation of the earth, the holy, perfect Father was there, and He was in that place. The Father lived in perfect perfection and he created heaven and earth because he loves us and he wants to bring his children there to be with him forever it's kind of like the story of a father going and 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 working really hard so he can provide a home for his family and a place for his grandchildren to come my wife and i recently were able to make a payment on our home and and it was really hard we had to work really hard to make that mortgage payment and my wife and i were so thankful and we we, we were just encouraging each other hey let's keep going someday maybe our grandchildren will be in this home and it'll be paid off and you know we can provide for them and, and love them the best we can And so, in the same way, the Father lived in perfect existence, yet He made heaven and earth, and then He made us, and He made a way for His children to be with Him in heaven forever. God desires a family more so than I ever do. He's awesome. And then the next week, uh, we want each of us to understand how important we are to the Lord. You are significant. Your children are significant. Let them know how important they are. And then also Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. This is a huge... I want to I want to go over this again and again and again. But really, this scripture is, you know, really, really important for you to kind of take some look at before. But it says, The Lamb who was slain before the foundation of the earth. And what that means is, that means a whole lot. What that, that, that implies a whole lot is that the Father and the Son knew you before earth existed and Jesus knew you couldn't enter into that family. And Jesus died to take away the debt of your sin so you can be in family. He became the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. God's desire for family is ancient. And it's found in Him. And it's there that Jesus saw God's desire as a father to have children that He willingly became the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. He said yes to family before the earth existed. <clears throat> and so and then we want to go in and understand. You know, you can read the summary at the end to them. It's important that you make sure that they... Uh, go through the summary and then we've got the on page uh, 21 we've got the questions again the older kids they can take 10 minutes to go through that maybe it takes longer maybe that's something that your teens do throughout the day the younger kids maybe you just take one or two and discuss it or maybe you go through the discussion questions who is this who are you who is God how then can we pray for our neighbor and just just take one or two points and kind of go through it and see what will bless your family. And then, of course, at the end, we have a prayer. And we always encourage the families to pray together. And the way you can do this is, is dad or mom can say the prayer, one or two of the lines, and the kids can repeat after them. And it really comes with a great family time. And then, of course, if you want, at the end, you can pray up, in, and out. And you just go around the room. You know, you just each of the children take a time to do that, depending, again, on your age of the children. All right. I hope that blesses you. Let me just pray for you. God, I pray for everyone that's listening to this, that uh, that as their family goes through this, they would know the heart of the Father. And if any of the children don't have a good father situation, I pray in Jesus' name you would release the spirit of adoption and they would know they are adopted and loved eternity, eternally by the Father in heaven. God bless.